Welcome back, you guys. The deals over at Walgreens are amazing this week. I have so many deals to tell you about. Lots of great grocery deals, lots of other deals. I'm gonna tell you how I got all of these items for right around $5, including a $6 moneymaker. So let's talk really quick about the deal I did in store that became a $6 moneymaker for me. It's on the Crest and Oral-B products. Now, should it be a $6 moneymaker? No, but it was. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how it worked and then give you some tips on this one. So this week, the Crest products are buy two, get a $4 register reward. They're $3 each. So buy one of these toothpaste, one of the Vivid toothbrushes at $3. There's a $2 digital on each of them. So $4 in coupons, you'll pay $2 at the register. But I got back the $4 register reward that I was supposed to get, but then I got back a bonus $4 register reward. So I got $8 back, making it a $6 moneymaker. Now, will this work for everyone? Honestly, no idea. Uh, will it work all week? No idea. But worst case scenario, it's free. Um, but then if you get that extra $4 register reward, it becomes a $6 moneymaker. Now, check your Ibotta. I did not have this offer, which is why I didn't post it this way. But some people have a $2 rebate on Ibotta, which would make it an $8 moneymaker. I was happy with my $6 moneymaker, so grab these in store to snag the $4 register reward, as well as hopefully that bonus $4 register reward. One of them was a store register reward, the other was a manufacturer register reward. Now, I believe all of the other deals I did curbside. Um, so let me tell you about those. The toothpaste, the Colgate toothpaste this week, you can also snag these for free. They are $2.99. Buy two of them. That's $5.98. There was a $2 digital coupon. That'll drop your final cost down to $3.98. Getting back $4 in Walgreens cash if you do it um, curbside or $4 register reward if you're doing it in store. So I didn't realize that the Walgreens cash had come back for curbside orders, but I was trying it out this morning and it did work for me. So talk to me about that. Like what has been your experience with getting Walgreens cash versus register rewards doing your curbside orders? That had stopped, but now it seems like it's come back again. So that's super exciting. Um, there are deals of the week. So a lot of the $4 register reward deals uh, you would need to do them in separate transactions. The deals of the week, you don't wanna combine all in one transaction. Now this one's crazy easy. The aluminum foil is just on sale two for $2. That makes it a dollar for this pack of aluminum foil. I went ahead and purchased it. Um, someone asked me if I thought it was any good. I mean, I line my pans with it when I do like sheet pan meals and it works just fine. It does tear a little bit easier than like the, what's the fancy brand, Reynolds. Uh, but for a dollar, I'm totally gonna use it. Now, the Scott toilet paper and paper towels. Great deal this week. They're $5 regular price. They are buy one, get one half off. So one's gonna ring five, one's gonna ring 250. There are dollar digital coupons, one for the toilet paper, one for the paper towels. So you are going to pay $5.50 total for both of them, or just $2.75 each. That's almost 50% off the regular price. So love that deal. Now, the um, Palm Olive. So uh, coming back to this, you can do this deal in store or you can do it curbside. The Palm Olive. You can also do this in store or curbside. The online price was $2.79. Go ahead and purchase two of them. For every two you purchase, you're gonna get $3 in Walgreens cash. There was a 50 cent digital coupon for one of them, okay? So $2.79 times two minus that 50 cent digital, we're gonna pay $5.08. We're gonna get back $3 in Walgreens cash. So already a great deal just there. But if you wanna go one step further, you can submit your receipt either to the Shopmium app or coupons.com. Check and see if either of those have a 50 cent rebate on the other one that we didn't have a coupon for. That would make your final cost $1.58 or just 79 cents each for that larger size dish detergent. Um, the hand soap. So the hand soaps are buy one, get one 50% off. 
buy four, get $4 register reward or Walgreens cash. I did it in um, a curbside order, so I got $4 in Walgreens cash back, but $1.99 um, times two, and then the half cost for the other two, there's a 75 cent digital coupon as well, so we're gonna pay $5.22, Get back $4 in Walgreens cash if you're doing it curbside, making your final cost $1.22 or just 30 cents for each of them. Now another easy deal, Pringles. I noticed these were on sale and it's cheaper than my grocery store. These are $2.99, buy one, get one free. That makes it $1.50 for each of them. Not the best price, but if you're working with a spend booster, it's something you might consider throwing in um, to get yourself some groceries. Um, but $1.50 each, not a bad price. The other um, deal I did on food were these smaller packs of Doritos. They're uh, $1.79 each. I noticed it was a $2 digital coupon. Now the wording on the coupon was like buy a drink and um, one of the bags of chips, but when I put two of these in my cart, that $2 digital coupon did apply. So I got two of these at $1.79, minus that $2 digital coupon. That made it $1.58 for both of these, or just 79 cents each. Now the bigger size Doritos are on sale this week, so if you wanna go ahead and get the bigger size Doritos, Obviously, your out-of-pocket costs will be higher, but you're getting more, so you just have to determine which is the better deal for you. The oatmeal, I keep talking about this because curbside, this um, oatmeal, 18 ounces, is $2.99. That's already better than the grocery store price. Someone left me a comment and said, Walgreens groceries are too expensive. Well, if they're not on sale, yes, but this one is $2.99, and there's a $1.25 rebate on Ibotta, making this just 74 cents. So double check your, uh, no, that didn't work out right. Making it $1.74, sorry. Um, is that right? I'm doing math in my head really quick. Yeah, making it $1.74. So check your Ibotta app because you could have a higher or lower value um, rebate. So always check before you buy. All right, hopefully I am not talking too fast this morning. I'm like hurrying. CVS went 90% off this morning on some of their toys and Christmas stuff. So I stopped by CVS this morning to take some pictures. Um, so I'm running a little bit later than normal on um, Walgreens Sunday morning. The old El Paso products are buy one, get one free. I noticed that the taco seasoning, which is normally what I buy when they have the buy one, get one free sale, I noticed that that one isn't buy one, get one free, but the enchilada sauce, the like hard taco shells, there's a taco kit, they're all buy one, get one free. Oh, and the diced um, green chili peppers. So this one was $2.79. Obviously, it's gonna be $2.79 for both of them or just $1.39 each. I believe the little green chilies were $1.99, so that would make them $1 each. Um, the L'Oreal, so this one you would wanna do curbside. Uh, check your digital coupon, see if you have a $7 digital for the L'Oreal products. I picked up the eye makeup remover, two of them. It's buy one, get one 50% off. So two of them is gonna total you $11.58 minus that $7 digital coupon. You can also use the code new year two. It's gonna take another $2 off, leaving your final cost to be $2.68 or just $1.34 for each of them. Not the best price I've ever paid, but still a good deal. And I actually really like this eye makeup remover. Other codes you might wanna try, try new 10, Try Fast 10 and try WAG 10. All of those are codes that you could use for a curbside order. I think I've maxed them out so they weren't working for me this morning, uh, but definitely try them out if you're placing a curbside order. Now, thanks to GME Coupons, who I saw post this, I was able to snag this as well this morning. The iron, the Nature's Bounty iron. There's a Ibotta offer, and these are also buy one, get one free. So $6.49 if you do it curbside for both of them after that buy one, get one free sale. There was a $2 digital coupon though, dropping it down to $4.49. And there's a $2 rebate on Ibotta, making it 49 cents for both of them or just 24 cents each. And again, if you can use one of those codes that I talked about, new 10, fast 10, or wag 10, that'll bring your cost down even farther. So I think that was everything. Um, I also 
combined all of these deals together, minus the ones I told you I did in store, uh, to use my spend 50, get $10 in Walgreens Cash Digital Booster. I haven't used my booster in a while, so I did pay out of pocket. That way I got that $10 in Walgreens Cash back dropping my final cost down to right around $5 for everything you see here. So amazing, amazing deals over at Walgreens this week. If you're finding other stuff, let us know down in the comments. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget, if you are brand new to this, I have like complete beginner tutorials on how to coupon at Walgreens, like literally how to find the coupons, how to use the coupons, what a register reward is, what Walgreens cash is. And then I progressively get more detailed with some of their policies. So I will link those down in the comments below, but definitely check those out because I think that will help answer a lot of the questions you might have. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show you some of the things that I found on clearance while I was in the store. Thanks guys.